Welcome back. This is Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I want to welcome back all my subscribers and welcome to my new viewers. This is the channel where we talk about my top stocks and we also talk about crypto from time to time. So if you're new, please click the notification to get my frequent updates. Okay, uh, tonight we're going to talk about three stocks. Uh, SoFi uh, reports on Tuesday, March 1st. Uh, and then we're going to talk about Target that reports on Tuesday as well. And lastly, we'll talk about Plug, Plug Power reports on Tuesday as well. So those are the three stocks we're gonna talk about tonight. Um, and again, this is Earnings Whisper. So if you need more information about up and coming earnings call, this is when the company itself gets on an earnings call with the Wall Street analysts and they discuss the current quarter, excuse me, the previous quarter and discuss how much money they brought in and what the forward looking forecast is. So we got SoFi on Tuesday and then also we've got Zoom on tomorrow, but we're only gonna talk about SoFi, Target and Power Plug, okay? So SoFi Technologies uh, says here, SoFi Technologies is American online personal finance company based in San Francisco, California, that does auto loan refinancing, mortgages, personal loans, student loan refinance, credit card, investing, and banking through a mobile app. Okay, so uh, going into this particular uh, quarter, they did not have a banking charter, but uh, in this current quarter, they did get the banking charter just two weeks ago. So we're looking to see uh, what Wall Street analysts will add value or expect from the company uh, on the earnings call. Will they do more revenue? Uh, a place you can go is tip ranks just to see uh, what the analysts are thinking about the stock. So we go to SoFi under tip ranks. You can search it as well, but uh, you can just go here to tip ranks and type in SoFi and it'll bring you the company. Uh, says, based on Wall Street analysts, a 12-month price target so far technologies in the last three months, the average price target is $18.85. And based on the current revenue for the quarter, uh, if they do good, this stock should head back up to this $18 per share. Okay, so, so far right now, it's trading at $10.67. Uh, it does have a 52 week high of $24 and has a 52 week low of $8.82, $8.82. Uh, but so far, I've been making acquisitions. Uh, they got the banking charter. Uh, and, like, for example, last week, they acquired an infrastructure firm, a uh, banking firm. So maybe that'll add to their strategy moving forward. Anthony Noto. Uh, the CEO, uh, he was the CFO with the NFL and is a former Goldman Sachs uh, employee. So he's well-versed in the financial industry and has taken over so far in the last two years. Uh, and we'll see uh, basically with the banking charter, whether or not they can pull off uh, the revenue earnings per share um, and you know how much actual profit they have for the quarter. OK, uh, and then also they will give a guidance moving forward. So that will be also in play. So we wait to hear that information on Tuesday uh, evening, more than likely Tuesday evening. Uh, so here it is, it says Q4 uh, earnings call is March 1st. That's one way you can find out. You can also go to IR. Uh, so far. So um, there is, oh, it's actually investor so far presentations. And you can see on March 1st, uh, they will have so far Q4 earnings call. It will be on their webcast. Uh, you can catch it live on Tuesday. Uh, but if you don't catch it live, they will have 
of the recorded earnings call here at the webcast location. Uh, and as you see, uh, they do have some slides for the previous uh, acquisition uh, they made last week, Technesis. Uh, but once the presentation for earnings call is available, they'll put that presentation uh, slide down here. Uh, as you can see, here's the SoFi for let's see, let's see, 222. Okay. Uh, okay. So here's the transcript, but there will be a presentation slides for the current earnings call. It'll be here or somewhere on this page. Okay. Uh, but that'll be on March 1st. So you can get the information on SoFi look at the earnings, look at the revenue, look at all those fancy details. You can get that stuff. Uh, let's see, we'll go to 2021 because that was the last earnings call. So if you go back, uh, earnings call 1110, uh, there it is, presentation. And here's Q3, this was back in November. They'll give you a non-disclaimer about non-GAAP uh, financial measures. Uh, and then they'll also talk about EBITDA, uh, earnings before taxes and et cetera. Uh, but basically this is what you'll get on Tuesday or maybe Wednesday morning, uh, but they'll have the charts here, this presentation available on Tuesday, more likely, okay? But it'll be for Q4 2022, all right? So that is uh, SoFi, which will report on Tuesday. Next stock we'll talk about is Target. Uh, Target is American big box uh, department store. They sell clothes, baby clothes, TVs, furniture. They sell a bunch of good stuff. Uh, and the stock over the last uh, day has been up 4%. Over the last month, it's been down a little bit from 220 down to 199. Uh, might be a good buying price. Um, it has a 52 week high of $268 and has a 52 week low of 166. Uh, if they report good revenue on Tuesday this week, the stock probably will pop a few bucks, um, maybe 10. $10 or so. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. Here's some articles here. Seeking Alpha. Target is undervalued again, says Seeking Alpha. Uh, CNBC says Target to test new curbside option for returns in Starbucks order pickups. So again, Target has a number of uh, partnerships. Uh, they have a deal with Disney for toys. They have, I think, a deal for makeup company. They have a partnership with CVS. There's a couple of CVSs inside of Target. Uh, so they have lots of revenue streams uh, and they're always being innovative. They were one of the uh, most successful um, first online pickup store ordering companies. Uh, they were quick to do a digital ramp up during the pandemic. So check out Target. Let's see if they got their revenue back this quarter and what their forecast is moving forward. So again, that's Target. And again, if you wanted more information about Target and what Wall Street and us think, just go to tip ranks, type in the ticker. Again, you'll find Target TGT. And again, 13 Wall Street analysts for Target project the average price target of the stock is $268 in the next 12 months. And you get that information available on tip ranks. Uh, eight uh, analysts say hold, five, as you said, buy, five say hold, and there's no sales for uh, target stock, okay? And the last stock we'll talk about is a small cap stock, uh, Power Play. This has to do with a lot of the EV and alternative energy measure companies. Uh, it has a 52 high of $53 and has a 52 week low of $17. Uh, Plug Power is an American company engaged in the development of hydrogen cell and replace conventional uh, batteries and equipment and power vehicles powered by electricity. So they are going with the hydrogen fuel cell uh, route. 
All right, so we seen Plug Power get up pretty high, uh, fifty-three dollars. But again, this was small cap stock. Um, interesting. Uh, you definitely want to buy some alternative energy companies, but I would caution if you want to get uh, Plug Power, try to stay more toward the twenty dollars per range. I have seen Plug Power get right around thirty dollars in the last year. Let's see. Okay. So we look at the chart back in June, it was trading around $34 last June. And then it had a spike up in November. And since then it's come way back down. But even if the stock is halfway back to $40, it's still good value buy uh, if it gets to $30 again, okay? So that is plug power. Uh, and they haven't been out, I don't think too long. Okay, see, so it really started taking off about 2000, uh, what's it? 2020, they started taking off. Uh, I actually remember this stock when it was $2, uh, but Plug Power, I never bought it. Uh, like I said, I, I don't take a lot of chances, um, but Plug Power is one of those stocks that for years, let's look back, I think I faintly remember 2000. Um, okay. So it even goes back further than that. Plug Power goes back to 99. Uh, it was trading about $1,100 and then it fell, crash, And for years went nowhere. Uh, and now it's back up. Uh, it went back up to $60 in most recent history. But again, um, this is one of the fallacies of these companies. Do you see how high it went? Uh, back in 99 when they first came out. Um, since then, it fell off and never really returned to its former face. So this is just a warning about some stocks never get fooled by the past history because if you look at this stock 20 years ago, it actually was trading at $1,400 at one point. Uh, but anyhow, uh, plug power could be an alternative these days, energy source, uh, and it trades right about 20, 20, $25 per share. Uh, and again, as a 53 high. And let's just for giggles go to uh, tip ranks and see where they place it. Okay, they still, uh, nine Wall Street analysts have a hold, buy on it, three have a hold on it. And again, based on these 12 Wall Street analysts, uh, the average price target is $41.58. With the high of $78. Okay. Uh, this is one of those companies you're going to have to really pay attention to what's going on with the company. Uh, definitely, you would need to listen to the earnings call or read a lot of articles about this company. Okay. Again, this is Plug Power. In the last two years, it has hit, you know, $54 per share. But again, history is not a determinant of the future. But we do know there's a strong trend. Uh, for more alternative energy as we go into 2022 and 2023. Uh, let's look at uh, plug stock and some articles below. Seeking Alpha says plug power, increasing conviction for the green hydrogen leader. Uh, plug power, bull versus bear. That means the positive analysis on it. And the bear analysis on a stock, uh, why it won't be successful. Also, Yahoo Finance has an article on it. And Bethlehem approves a 1600 job plug power project. Okay, so this is good for uh, plug power. Uh, they are setting up another project and they got 1600 jobs behind it. So interesting, okay? So when you buy a company, you're basically, when you buy stock, you buy a fraction of the company, you never know where it's gonna go, okay? So Plug Power, they report on Tuesday and we'll see where the stock goes. Again, $50, $53 is as high, $17.51 is as low. It may be a good time to pick up some shares on Plug Power. Okay, so those are the three stocks I wanted to talk about. Again, if you want more information, just in general about the stock market, please check out CNBC. They give you regular up-to-dates. 
uh, right now they're talking about Dow futures being down, S&P futures being down, NASDAQ being down, and of course, oil being up. <laughs> Where you know, this whole oil thing is getting crazy. Uh, Putin orders Russian nuclear deterrent forces, uh, Ukraine and Russia delegates to meet again. So it's getting pretty ugly over there in Russia. Uh, so that's the backdrop again. Once they said the word nuclear, it probably put the market futures in a panic, okay? So that's all I wanted to cover. I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share. And if you'd like to get some free stock, use my Robinhood link below. Have a good week.